Today, the U.S. history team here at Sandberg is going to lecture on a series of rebellions in order to give you a sense of the long and storied history of protest in the United States. We want you to understand that not only has rebellion been going on since the founding of this country, but as it has occurred for many different reasons. So, hi, I'm Mr. Urban, and today I'm going to talk about the Whiskey Rebellion, one of the first rebellions to occur in the United States after the creation of the U.S. Constitution uh, in 1787. So the Whiskey Rebellion took place between 1792 and 1794, and it was largely a rebellion about social class and the power of the central government that occurred in southwestern Pennsylvania. In order to understand the Whiskey Rebellion, we must first understand what the United States was like after the American Revolution. The American Revolution, which was fought between 1775 and 1781, had left the United States deeply in debt. And the country had fallen into a terrible economic depression. In order to fix these economic problems, the new Secretary of the Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, created a financial plan that would give the federal government more power over the economy. Now, part of this plan involved raising money for the federal debt from a tax on whiskey. Now, the whiskey tax was especially burdensome for farmers on the western frontier. For these farmers, whiskey was more than a luxury good. It was a major source of income. Farmers would turn excess amounts of their rye and corn crops into whiskey because it was easier to transport and sell to markets in the east. To these farmers, who were typically poor and white, the central government of the United States was becoming too powerful and infringing on their rights. Many of these farmers saw the whiskey tax as similar to the taxes that they had rebelled against during the American Revolution. Additionally, they felt that they were being treated unfairly by the new government because they were poor Western farmers. The new government in the United States was run by wealthier men from the eastern part of the country. Uh, these farmers looked at Alexander Hamilton, for example, who was from New York, as an elitist who didn't really care about their needs. Uh, therefore, beginning in 1793, farmers in western Pennsylvania began protesting the new whiskey tax. The whiskey rebels defiantly erected whiskey poles, similar to the liberty poles created in the protests of the Stamp Act in 1765. Uh, they began to shout, liberty and no excise. Uh, and when American tax officials came to collect the whiskey tax, they were tarred and feathered. Thus, through protests and acts of violence, the whiskey rebels were able to prevent the collection of the tax for most of the year of 1793. By 1794, the government issued warrants for the arrest of the leaders of the Whiskey Rebellion. Um, when government officials went to issue these arrest warrants, shots were fired and fighting ensued. The growing violence of the Whiskey Rebellion led the leaders of the rebellion to become more radical or extreme. They began talking about possibly marching on Pittsburgh and burning down the houses of wealthy people uh, in Pennsylvania. All of this alarms George Washington, who was the president at the time. Now, George Washington and Alexander Hamilton then begin to raise an army in order to put down the West Whiskey Rebellion. Uh, and so they summon the militias from several states to basically come together and help them oppose these rebels. All told, about 13,000 soldiers answered George Washington's call to take up arms against the Whiskey Rebels. And George Washington becomes the first and only president to lead an army into battle. So the Whiskey Rebellion um, is absolutely no match for George Washington's army. In fact, when the rebels see this huge army coming, they immediately disperse and run away. A few of these rebels were captured, and George Washington later pardons them in order to heal the nation. However, the Whiskey Rebellion teaches us a great deal about rebellion in American history. While a minuscule event um, in terms of like the big picture, first of all, it shows the larger power of the United States under the U.S. Constitution. It also shows how tensions can easily flare up over issues such as social class, economic issues such as taxes, as well as the power of the federal government.